In this video, I would like to share how to solo the new episode 5 MVP Lord of Death. In episode 5, you will find new MVPs and mini bosses which are significantly more challenging to defeat due to high damage, debuff skills, anti taunt and instant kill skills. I will share how to solo Lord of Death using a sorcerer. Lord of Death has a health point of 137 million, hence it takes some time to kill. The most important factor in defeating Lord of Death is having a high flea. Having a high flea would enable the character to evade the attacks and skills from Lord of Death. Sorceress possesses two skills that boost flea, and one of them adds 100 flea, but it is not indicated anywhere in the skill description. Why did I choose to specifically talk about Lord of Death amongst other MVPs? Because it drops Shield Shard, which is worth 1.4 million zenny. So if you were to defeat 6 Lord of Death in one day, you would be able to earn 6 million zenny, since it always drops the shard at every defeat. This is a video of a first trial where my flea is 644. I am bringing a priest just in case shit happens and I end up dead. There is actually no need for any extra buff once your flea hits 610. The amount of flea you have will not be 100% effective dodging the attack. Because if there is more than one monster attacking, the dodging rate will decrease so you will always get a chance to be hit. That is why I still take potions, honey, yggdrasil berry with me. In this first trial, I often forget to reactivate the skill that boosts flea, causing me to die twice. The reason is because Lord of Death has a very large health point, and it takes quite some time to defeat it. So don't forget to reactivate all your skills when the cooldown is over. This is the skill I mentioned above that boosts flea. Windfield is an important skill in defeating Lord of Death as it adds 40 flea to my status. Without Windfield, my flea is 494 and with Windfield, it increases to 534. Another skill that increases flea is summon elemental, however, the skill does not provide any description of flea increase. Out of the three elements, which are fire, water, and wind, select wind sprint ventus and this will cause the flea to increase by 100. Besides flea, it also adds 1% wind damage in every level increment. The duration of the skill is 60 seconds and increases 10 seconds at every level increment. My initial status of 494 increases by 100 to 594 after activating Summon Elemental. Combined with Windfield, it will result in a total of 634.
combined with agility dish B, it will result in a total flea of 644. Besides the two skills I mentioned above, I also use Fog Wall, which is a skill from the Acer Monument that enables a 60% chance to evade enemy physical attacks and range skills. The skills I mentioned above will add a total of 140 flea to your status. Next, I'm going to share what cards and headgears to deposit, which equipment and socketed cards that will add more flea. Mars card 5 flea, Destinus card 5 flea, Mist card 5 flea, Hode card 5 flea, Pouring card adds 2 flea, Black Witch star card adds 1 agility which translate to 1 flea, Kukri card adds 1 agility, and by depositing all of the cards above, it will amount to total of 29 flea. Besides depositing the cards above, Looting or drawing certain kinds of cards will also add flea. Looting or drawing Ninetale card will add 10 flea, Orc Warrior card 10 flea, Orc Archer card 10 flea, Cram card 4 flea, Anolian card 1 agility. Looting or drawing these cards will add a total amount of 35 flea. Flea can also be obtained from crafting or depositing certain headgears. Depositing Angeling Hairpin will give 1 flea, Crafting Small Ribbons will give 2 flea, Crafting Cap of Blindness will give 2 flea, Depositing Gemini Diadem will give 1 agility, The headgear mentioned above will give an additional of 6 flea. The total amount of flea you can get from Adventure Book is 70. More flea can also be obtained from equipments. The two equipment that I use to increase flea are Blue Eve's Cape and Silk Robe. Blue Eve's Cape gives an additional of 15 flea. If refined to plus 10, you will get an additional of 5 agility. Silk Robe gives an additional of 4 agility in tier 2 and 3. As shown here, I am using Silk Robe with Tidal Shoes that gives a 10% chance to convert the enemy's element into water. Water is weak to wind element. Hence, my attack would increase by 200% if it is activated. It will also increase in conjunction with the activation of Windfield and Windspring Ventus as they are both buff for wind damage. If it so happens that after doing everything above and you still don't have enough flea, you can consider the following options. Panties in armor gives the largest flea status. It gives an additional of 15 flea when upgraded to tier 6. Advanced Sack Teddy Shoes upgraded to Tier 3 gives 10 Agility. Agility Pin as accessories will give 10 Agility Points when upgraded to Tier 3. Wearing 2 Agility Pin upgraded to Tier 3 will give 20 Flea. Small Ribbon will provide a further 20 Flea. Small Ribbon is the largest possible Flea status that can be obtained in a headgear. For offhand, Fing Bracelet upgraded to Tier 1 will give 15 Flea. From those equipment mentioned, an additional 100 flea can be obtained. Moving on to Mora, a further of 5 to 30 flea can be obtained through Mora Enchant. 11 out of 12 equipment can be Mora Enchanted. Just to paint a realistic picture, if you get 15 flea per Mora Enchant, it means that obtaining 165 flea from 11 Mora Enchanted equipment is possible. Lastly, Socketed cards will also increase flea. Cram card in headgear gives 5 flea. Kukri card in accessories gives 3 agility. Wild rose card in shoes gives 5 flea and 2 agility. Whisper card in garment gives 20 flea. Pouring card in armor gives 1 flea. Female thief bug card in weapon gives 1 agility. In total, the card mentioned above will give an additional 41 flea. In summary, the total possible flea that can be obtained from depositing card is 29, looting card 35, crafting or depositing headgear is 6, equipment 100, socketing cards 41, more on average 165, agility 119, wind field 40, wind spirit ventus 100, 
Agility Dish B, 10, Acer Monument Rune, 5 Agility. From the above build, you will be able to obtain 650 flea. If you have guillotine cross, an additional 10 agility totaling to 660 flea can be obtained. My character in this video is level 118 with job level 15 and has obtained a base flea of 151 without buffs or equipments. The total maximum flea that can be obtained if you have met all of the above requirements would be 811. However, I think the maximum flea required is only 610 in order to solo Lord of Death. It would actually serve you better to allocate the additional points to damage increase to expedite the kill. We have come to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed the video and the information I provided will be useful. I apologize for any inaccuracies if there will be any. Please feel free to comment and please subscribe to this channel. One last thing, on an unrelated but not less important note, this is a picture of my beautiful dog, Riot. Bye!